If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see about Proxyman. I recently published a blog post about Proxyman. You can check it out in my blog. Proxyman is a web debugging proxy tool for mainly Apple ecosystem. But recently they released a beta version for Windows operating system. So in this video, we're going to deep dive into how you can leverage Proxyman for your performance testing purpose. The audience for Proxyman is developers, security engineers and performance engineers so that we can trace the network calls between the client and the server to understand what's going on. I have been using uh, Fiddler Everywhere or Fiddler Classic and also I have used uh, Wireshark in the past and also MITM. So those are the tools I frequently use to understand what's going on between the client and the server. I've been waiting for the Proxyman for Windows operating system. Recently, I got the uh, premium version of Proxyman. So this video is not sponsored. I purchased it and then I'm going to share my views about the Proxyman. If you go to proxyman.io, you can see more details about the tool and the features. So this is how it looks in Mac OS. So here you can see the beautiful uh, user interface. In the left side, you have the favorites and you can see your applications. And at the center, you can see the all the URLs. And if you select the particular request, it will display the request details with a request and response. But you cannot expect the same interface in Windows yet because it is still in beta version. And another important point is Proxyman comes with free flavor. But if you want to use some advanced features like unlimited rules and other important things, then you need to pay for Proxyman. If you go to pricing, you can see they have standard personal and team. So I got the personal edition for about $79 per license, which comes with uh, two devices, basically two devices for any operating system, one Mac OS or one Windows. So it's up to you how you are using it. And it comes with four Proxyman for iOS device and it unlocks all premium features. And if you scroll down, you can see the premium version. Basically, it comes with one year of uh, updates. And you can also see other details about the Proxyman. So now let us uh, go to the uh, Proxyman. And this is how the uh, UI looks when you download and install in Windows operating system. And if you just go to your uh, register license, as you see here, my updates uh, available until uh, September 1st, 2023. And here you can renew it or you can extend the seats for Proxyman. Once you download and install the Proxyman, the very first thing you have to do is just go to Proxyman and go to preferences. And here you can uh, choose your uh, content layout, whether you want vertical or horizontal and the proxy port. And by default, it listens to port proxy 1990. But if you want to override, you can check it out in your Windows settings so that you can change your uh, proxy uh, port and other details. And next step is to install the Proxyman uh, Certificate Authority. Without installing this, you cannot intercept the traffic, mainly the HTTPS traffic. So you need to install it. So just click on Generate New. So this will install the uh, Proxyman uh, CA. So once it is installed, just go to Privacy. And if you don't want to share your analytics with Proxyman, uncheck this option. And if you don't want to share the crash report, Again, you can uncheck this option. Now let me close this and let us install the uh, certificate. So once you click on that install certificate, you will get this prompt. Just click on install and trust. Basically, you need the admin privileges. Otherwise, uh, you cannot install it. So after installed, you can see Proximan CA certificate is installed automatically and uh, trusted. Now you can close this window. So to start capturing the uh, client and the server traffic, you can just click on the play button here. So this will listen to the port 9090 by default, as you see here. Now let us go back to the uh, browser and let us uh, navigate to say example.com. And if you go back to the proxy man, you can see the network calls. So basically, since I have installed all the uh, Chrome extensions, so that is why it is capturing all the details here. Here you can see the example.com request. And if you want to see the response of the uh, HTTPS traffic, so you need to proxy it. So you have to enable the domain. So here at the bottom right corner, you can see the uh, request is uh, example.com and the response is encrypted. So you need to enable this domain by clicking on this button and you have to resend it again. So now if you go back to the browser and hit refresh, 
and if you go back to the proxy man here you can see the uh, raw body and other information so this is how you proxy your ssl traffic so that you can view it in the proxy man and as you see by default it is capturing all the uh, junks definitely we don't want to see this for uh, debugging our application so what you can do just uh, click on the uh, filter icon at the bottom left corner and just type the domain name whichever you want to uh, filter out so in this case let us go with example and here you are with all the records with example.com so you can uh, select the url or query string or request header response header method and status code and also you can see various uh, conditions contains not contains starts with and other flavors so this is how you can easily capture and filter so that you can debug further and now let us go back to the browser and let us uh, say refresh my website and let us go back to the proxy man and let us filter out the uh, qa insights and here you can see i have to again enable this domain otherwise the traffic will not be captured now let me hit refresh and here you can see the uh, qa insights.com and if you go to body our raw information you can see 304 uh, not modified now let us uh, hit refresh again and it's kind of a buggy here so you need to see it is getting only 304 so we need to uh, get a 200 actually so let me just hit refresh a couple of times okay, now we got some uh, 200 cs uh, for the other uh, urls and if you just select and go to the raw as you see it is uh, gibberish so basically it is uh, not uh, completely uh, all the features are available yet in windows but eventually i hope all the features from mac will be ported to windows as well and also in mac they have a beautiful uh, uh, beautify the json structure and other uh, formats but it is not available for windows yet another thing i want to show you is if you go to the uh, tools menu and go to ssl proxying list here you can enable or disable the domains you want to see so right now i have enabled for jpet store request.in example.com and qainsets.com but if you want to uh, remove anything you can just select and click on the minus uh, button here it will remove from the ssl proxying list if you want to enable you have to enable it again to see the traffic between the client and the server and if you want to export your response you can just right click and go to export and select the response body so this will export as i guess uh, html here as you see so this is how you can export your response for the particular request and here again there is no way you can uh, enable or disable these columns so suppose i want don't want to see the uh, method or code uh, you cannot uh, uncheck or you cannot remove it and again uh, these button it's not functional yet i don't know why it might be a defect or it might be uh, still in early stages and if you want to clear you can just clear it so this is how you can make use of proxy man uh, to debug your traffic between the client and the server definitely this is still in beta and still in early stage but mac os pretty much matured and still evolving with new features if you are in an apple ecosystem definitely you can check it out proxy man and if you are in windows probably we need to wait for some more time another important point i would like to highlight is the pricing uh, with respect to fiddler everywhere so here you can see the pricing is about 10 dollars per user per year which comes around 120 dollars per user and if you want to switch it to monthly you need to pay more but on the other hand proxy man is 79 dollars per license for the personal plan which comes with two devices and four ios installations so you can decide whichever is apt for you but definitely you can check it out proxy man uh, for its uh, features and intuitive uh, user interface definitely you can check it out proxy man because they have been uh, pretty much active in uh, releasing the uh, fixes and the updates and the pricing also it's affordable so thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel